Sometimes you may want to do some analysis for a course or for some research you're doing, and you may not have access to a sophisticated uh, software program like SAS or SPSS. Well, you may be able to do it in Excel. And Excel has a number of different analyses it can do. So if you go up to the uh, tab up here and you click on the Data tab, you may see something that says Data Analysis here. If you do not see it on your um, menu bar here, you may have to load it. And you load it by going to File, Options, Add-ins, make sure the Analysis Tool Pack is highlighted, and down here you'll see Excel Add-ins, and you click Go. And then this menu comes up, it gives you some four different add-ins you can use. You want to make sure there's a check mark in the Analysis Tool Pack um, row. And click OK, and hopefully you'll see it up here. And if you click this, you'll see that, that uh, Excel does a number of different types of analyses, such as uh, different kinds of ANOVA, correlation analysis, uh, covariance, um, histograms, random number generator. And let me do an example using regression. All right, so I'm going to click on regression. And regression is the case where we want to understand how a dependent variable is affected by some different independent variables. The dependent variable being the y um, axis or the y variable. So here you can highlight the y variable. In this case, I happen to have some data on, for example, yards rushed by NFL football players, and then how much each player weighed, and how fast um, each player ran the 40-yard dash. So what do we see here? Okay, We want to know how many yards, or, or what's the impact of weight and speed on how far, uh, how far somebody might run in a season. So I've highlighted this, and I'm going to hit OK. And you can also put in the X range. You can put in one value, OK, so it would be simple regression, or you can have multiple regression. In this case, we have two variables, so it'll be multiple regression. And again, we highlight this and drag and drop it down and hit OK. You'll notice I highlighted the labels here, or the titles. So make sure you've checked this block here that says labels. That tells Excel that that first row, it should be um, labels, not numbers. You also want to tell it where to put the data. So I'm going to say, let's put it in F10, for example. And I will click OK. And then if I click OK, I should get some output. You may have to expand the columns so that this stuff is readable. And you can do that by going over here and just double clicking. It'll stretch it out for you. And let me just stretch these out a bit so we can see what this looks like. And you'll notice that you get um, a lot of the basic stuff that you would get in um, any econometrics or statistics program r squared, adjusted r squared. Um, you get the intercept term, the uh, different coefficients for the x, first x variable, which are weight, right? Positive, so that the more the football player weighs, um, the higher his the amount of yards he rushes for. The 40-yard dash is um, negative, which means that the lower number means the person is faster. It is not um, statistically significant, but you can see it's negative, so that faster means more yards. So this is something you can, you can use if you have to do some um, basic analysis. Let me show you one more type of analysis called a moving average. And um, in finance, a lot of times we use the moving average to figure out the trend of stock prices. And what we do is it's, it's, it's a very simple thing to do. We add numbers together, and then we divide by the number of observations. So right here I have data for the Dow Jones Industrial Average monthly data from April 
of 2015 through March of 2020. And these are closed prices. And if I wanted a three period moving average, I would add, for example, April, May, and June and divide by three. And then in the next period, I would drop April and go May, June, July and divide by three, et cetera, et cetera. So you can, you can do this, you could write a program or put in some formulas into Excel, or you can simply use the moving average function here, which they have. So let's see if we can do that, All right? You'll want to highlight the data you have here, All right? So I'm gonna use these prices. And then I'm going to, I made sure that labels is checked. And then I want to tell it where the output range is. And I want to put the output range right here. And I'll hit enter. And let's see what we get here. So notice that the first two values are missing because there were no values before that, right? You can't average until you have three values. So this number here would be April, May, and June divided by three. This one would be May, June, July divided by three, et cetera, et cetera. So you can do this type of analysis um, by simply using the data analysis package. And again, there are a number of other um, functions it has, but sort of beyond the scope for me to do all of them. But I just wanted to show you a couple that are popular in economics and finance. So I hope you find this useful.